drink whips. If you have a question, please use the raise hand function. Go ahead, Mitchell Forty. Eli, I know I'm sure not the night you wanted from the, the run defense. Did what, what did you see? Was there any specific issue with, with the defensive front or was it just a, a matter of a, a few different things or what, what did you see we, there? We got our butt whipped up front and uh, weren't able to stop the run. I mean, until uh, I watched the film, I'm not sure exactly what happened. And Eric Blum. Coach, what do you think about Connor's performance tonight? Um, just go, looking at how he played and, you know, I know he got he had the interception right at the beginning, but just overall, what do you think about his game? I mean, um, he did enough to keep us in the game. Obviously, I wish we had the interception back. It was a bad play call. Um, I, I thought he did a nice job managing, you know, some of the aggressiveness. We took it down the field and he took check downs. He did a nice job managing it with the feet, but at the end of the day, it wasn't good enough. We had a chance, you know, to drive it down and win the game. We didn't get it done. and I didn't give him a good enough play call. Andrew Kaufman. Coach, just uh, what you, what you think of the way your team kept – it seemed like you made the plays when you needed to make the play. I know you didn't end up winning the game, but you got yeah. that block. I'm freaking, halftime. Yeah, I'm proud, of, I'm proud of my football team. Really freaking proud of them. I mean, they fought their butt off in a hostile crowd down, you know, didn't start the, game the way we wanted to. The second half didn't start the way we wanted to. They freaking fought their butt off, blocked a field goal, and gave us a chance to win the game. We didn't get it done. Um, but there's no reason to hang our heads. There's no reason to, 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 you know, panic. Anybody needs to panic or jump on Twitter and go crazy. Like, relax. It's week two on the road, night SEC football game versus a good opponent. We had a chance to win. We didn't get it done. We'll go back to work tomorrow, uh, and we'll go to fixing it. And that's what we're, we're going to do. A um, lot of football season left, whole heck of a lot of football season left. And I tell you what, I saw a bunch of fighters in that locker room, a bunch of friggin' fighters on the sideline. And uh, that's a football team that's going to continue to improve and get better. They're going to fight to improve and get better. I don't know how many games we're going to win, but I know we're going to fight. Does it matter? Hey, Eli, I know it's, it's hard to get big plays against this Kentucky defense, but tonight you really had to have kind of a controlled passing game that the tight ends were uh, – more involved, I guess. What do you think of the way that you had to methodically move the ball up and down the field to have a chance? Yeah, I mean, Kentucky, if they get a lead, that's how they play defense. They don't have to be aggressive. They can keep everything in front of them. And, you know, that's that's what we were prepared for. And, and uh, you know, it's how the game was dictated. Benjamin Hodgman. Hey, Eli, you mentioned the battle up front. Uh, but just in general, can you describe what Kentucky was doing offensively that, that maybe uh, – not for you guys for loop, but it was difficult for you guys to contain. I mean, uh, they got out on the pin and pull on the on the 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 uh, uh, first half. They got out on a jet sweep in the first half. Then they were running inside zone. We weren't able to pound the a gap. Uh, we were trying to spike the end across the the tight end's face. We weren't getting it done. So I mean, we had all kinds of issues. Mitchell forty. It looked like Connor was hurting on those last few plays. Was there any conversation with him about, you know, potentially pulling him out of the pulling him out of the game? I mean, he got hit. It's SEC football. He's, he's going to be sore. No, he's fine. He'll be sore tomorrow. But more importantly, we'll be pissed off because we lost. Mason Arneson. Hey, Coach. Kentucky converted all of its third downs in the first half, but uh, oh. your defense turned things around in the second half to force some punts. What was the defense doing in the second half that they didn't do in those first half scenarios? I mean, in the first half, we had a couple of times where we didn't get the uh, TE stunt, where the tackle didn't keep contained. That was the first third down of the uh, the first third down of the second or the second third down, second drive. Um, didn't play zone coverage very well, well when we mixed it in. They hit the end cut, which is their number one pass concept on third down. I mean, we, we didn't do very much anything right. Andrew Kaufman. Coach, it was your, your first road SEC game with a full crowd. Just what would you think of the atmosphere and just, you know, the action? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a road game. It was whatever. Eric Blum. Eli, uh, was there any concern ever to get the tight ends more involved? I know you mentioned it previously, but Daniel Parker hadn't had a multi-touchdown game in his career, and he had two tonight. Did you want to get him more involved as well? We just call plays, man. We're just calling plays. If it's a good play, we call it. And if it goes to the tight end, it goes to the tight end. I think both of them had options to go other places. The quarterback does a nice job of getting it to the guy who was open. 
I mean, we, we're not sitting around trying to get Daniel Parker touchdowns. We're calling football plays. So if it happens to work out, great. He answered the bell when his call was ready, ran a great route, that first one. Second one, he was on, on the shovel, but we had a two-way go on it, and it worked out perfect. But And I'm not worried about, you know, who gets it. I'm worried about winning football games. Dave Matter? Eli, you made a good point about how this is just second game of the year and you don't want anyone to panic. Is that something you, you sense this team will, will handle well? Um, probably more – attention for the fans but uh, uh is that a good reminder for everyone yeah i mean it's a good reminder for myself i mean it's just a it, it's one football game of 12 that we fought our butt off we played hard we had an opportunity we didn't get it done um but there's a lot of season left and a lot of fight left in this football team and that's what i like to see I and mean, they could have easily you know in the first half didn't stop them a single time on third down they could have easily tucked their tail and they didn't. They didn't do that. Our team didn't do that. We kept fighting. So that's a good sign. Uh, we got to get a lot of things fixed, a lot of things fixed, and, and we got to do it in a hurry. Um, but we're fighting. And a final question from Benjamin Hodgman. Along the lines of just one game and taking positives and looking forward, can you describe the toughness you saw from Tyler Beatty, the second efforts, and how that can help your team in general? He's a hell of a football player. I mean, I mean, the dude is playing his butt off. He doesn't get very many breaks. Um, he's a factor in both the run game and the pass game and, and run, has to run a lot of routes, a lot of yardage. I mean, he's, he's a really good football player, and we need him to continue to be in order for offense to have any chance at success. Thanks, Thanks Eli. Guys. We'll be right back with players. Andrew Kaufman. Hey, Connor, just uh, what did you think of the way you guys continued to battle back when you guys were down multiple touchdowns and uh, you, you never were out of it until the last last play? Yeah, I'm really proud of this team and everyone, just the way they competed and um, kept taking the punches they were throwing. You know, we, we, we fought back and uh, threw punches back, so I'm proud of how we, how we competed and um, – we didn't, we didn't let up. We didn't give up when we were down two touchdowns. We, we kept competing, and I'm proud of that. Mitchell Forty. Connor, I know last week uh, third downs was a big emphasis. You all were able to sustain a lot more drives tonight. What, what went into that? Um, well, we weren't in third and 13s. So last week we were in third and 13s. Those are pretty difficult to, to uh, convert. So, you know, I think also I – use my feet on, I think, two. Um, so just got to do that more and, yeah. Eric Blum. Hey, Connor, what did you think you learned about your team that you can use the rest of the season going forward? I think just, I mean, we're going we're gonna to compete no matter what, and we're going to be in the game no matter what. Um, no matter what the score is, we're going to keep fighting and competing and – that's who this team is. We're not going to quit. Dave Matter. Connor, the, the, the one interception, did you not see the linebacker very clearly there? Were you just trying to finesse it over him? Yeah, I mean, they, we, we, our ground game wasn't working. You know, the, the play action didn't, didn't – uh, the backer didn't bite on it. He, he made a really nice play on it. Um, should just hit check down like I was doing all day, but – you know, you learn from those things, and we, we, we responded super well. After they went down and scored, we responded super well, and um, I, th I think that's a good thing. <laughs> Benjamin Hodgman. Hey, Connor. Just wanted to ask you a little more about that final drive and just uh, can you describe what it was like with the team, what it was like with the intensity and uh, the hit and just trying to make it happen? Yeah, I think um, – I mean, it was just another drive. Not, I mean, that's kind of what we preach. There's no big drives. There's no, there's no little drives. They're just drives, you know. Um, obviously, considering the situation, we had to go down and score a touchdown. But I think you just you just play one play at a time. Um, try to do your job. Um, you know, I think on the on the third down sack. Um, I mean, they disguised the blitz pretty well. Well, they didn't really pressure, they didn't blitz, but they dis disguised the um, linebacker blitz off the edge. And um, so we'll get that cleaned up and 
Um, yeah. Mitchell Forty. You looked like you were hurting a little bit those last few plays. Were you limited at all, just from you know the throws you can make, or just just sore? Um, I, I was. I'm fine. Uh, took a little hit. Um, in the in the first quarter, but um, it's fine. It's just kind of started nagging me in the fourth, but I'll be I'll be all good for for next week. Mike Reeves. Connor, if somebody used the term moral victory in a game like that, is that offensive to you? Does that bother you? Is that a good term? How would you view it? Um, I don't think there's any, any way you can say – I don't like the word victory when you just lost a game. But, you know, like I said earlier, I'm proud of this team and how we fought and competed and, and took the punches they were throwing. And, um, like I said, we didn't quit. And, Yeah. And a final question from Andrew Kaufman. Connor, just uh, what, what was Coach Drinkwitz's message to you guys just now in the locker room? Um, I was not in there yet. Sorry. <laughs> Be right back with more players. Thank you. But, uh, safety Martez Manuel, if you have questions, please use the raise hand function. Go ahead, Mitchell Forty. Hey, Martez. Uh, Kentucky ran for you know, 340 yards. I guess just what, what kind of went into some of the, the issues that led to that? Uh, I mean, people just not executing, you know, people not in the right gaps. That's about it. I feel like we did pretty well tackling today. It was just execution and gap, gap integrity wasn't there. I think so. oh, that's, that would be my answer to that. Eric Blum. Hey, Martez, it was about the third quarter when you guys had back-to-back -back drives where you made Kentucky punt. Was there anything you changed in there that got those results for you? No, we just we just didn't start fast, you know. Uh, then we found our rhythm, but, you know, we put our offense in a bind. We didn't step up in the biggest moments that we needed to, you know. And that's something that, as a captain, you know, I need to go back and see how I can improve on that in the season. You know, it's week two, so. Hopefully we can get it. We will get it fixed. Andrew Kaufman. And Martez, what did you think of the way your team battled back uh, time after time in this one, especially right at the end of the, the first half? Uh, yeah, I mean, it means a lot to me just to see the guys fight, you know, on the road. You know, it's a tough place to fight. Uh, just wish we could have done more. And Mike Reeves. Martez, did they do anything at all different than that you might have expected or seen on film coming in? No, just uh, like I said, we didn't start fast. We didn't execute early. And then you look up and it's 14-0, you know, and uh, offense got us back in the game multiple times. Defense didn't step up, you know, and let them get away, let, let it slip away. So, yeah. And a final question from Mitchell Forty. Martez, how important were the, the two takeaways from JC just to keep you all in the game? Uh, super important. You know, he's really uh, stepping into his role and he's becoming a great player for our defense. A lot of fun to play next to him. Uh, yeah, nothing but positive things to say about JC. Thanks. We'll be right back with Case Cook, our final player. Overall, what did you think of the way you guys were able to constantly battle back in this one? Uh, it's fine. Uh, we didn't do a good enough job. Uh, we didn't didn't win the game, so I don't think uh, we're like into much into moral victories or whatever. But you know, our objective every time we step out on the field is to win, and whether or not we battle or put up a good fight doesn't really make a difference unless we win the game. And Benjamin Hodgman. Hey, Case. When you enter this game, you know you're going up against an SEC opponent that's arguably similar to you. So can you describe the, the frustration with unable to, to come out on top against a team like that? Was that a mentality? Uh, yeah, so, you know, uh, we really wanted to win this game. Uh, wanted to win it pretty bad, and we knew they were a good team coming in, and and I, I don't think we started fast enough on offense. Um, so it took us uh, a while to try to recover, and and so at the end of the day, uh, we weren't good enough. So we got to go back to the drawing board and watch the film and get better for next week. Eric Blum. I guess I was going to ask you about that start. Uh, how much of that falls on the offensive line to kind of get things going and open holes and get things moving? And did you guys make any changes so you guys could score points? 
Uh, absolutely. You're absolutely right. It's a uh, 100% our job up front to, uh, to get things moving on offense, whether it's run game or pass game. Uh, you know, we just got to get in there and, and play good with our eyes and, and uh, make sure we're opening up lanes and protecting the quarterback. And, and, you know, so, you know, I take responsibility personally. I think that I got to do a better job coming out in the, at the beginning of the game and, and we got to do a better job as a unit on offense. So that's all there is to it. Any further questions for Case Cook? Andrew Kaufman? Case, uh, Coach Trink, which, uh, you know, afterwards made sure to, you know, let us, everyone know that it's just one game out of 12. So how, as a leader on this team, do you communicate that message with uh, the rest of your uh, your teammates? Uh, you know, something bad happened. You know, uh, we lost a game. It's not what we wanted. All right, flush it, you know. Uh, I think everybody, you know, in this team has lost at, at something before. I know I have. So uh, you just got to – keep pushing man we lost it didn't go our way we didn't end up the way we thought it would and it, it hurts it's supposed to hurt but you know we're gonna flush it after tomorrow after we watch the tape and uh you know life goes on the season goes on you know so uh our goal is still to win the sec east so uh, that's still a possibility um so even with one loss in the in the east so that's what we're trying to do it's nothing stopping us from here and benjamin hodgman uh, real quick, just want to ask you about a positive in regards to your teammate, Tyler Beatty. What uh, impresses you about him, uh, and notably tonight? Uh, Tyler does a phenomenal job. Uh, he's got great vision. Um, you know, he, he really runs hard. He's been doing a great job of, of being that guy for us, being that uh, workhorse for us, you know. So I'm really proud of Beatty, and I'm really proud of the things he's doing. Um, you know, like I said earlier, us up front and myself personally, we got to do a better job of making sure we start fast so we can get guys like Beatty uh, going earlier in the game. Anything else for Case? Thanks so much. Y'all safe travels home.